In 2015, things changed a little bit in the, in the uh, smartphone industry. We got budget phones all over the place. We got the Nexus 6P. Uh, you can even find an older Nexus 6. Uh, then in uh, 2016, we got the next bit Robin. Uh, we got the Honor 5X. Uh, we got a lot of budget devices, guys, uh, in uh, 2015 going into 2016. So one may ask, why do we spend a lot of money on devices? Can we find a budget device that within the $300 or $200 range that performs, you know, very good, just like the high flagships? What's up, guys? This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. I found the Moto X Pure Edition, guys, for about $250 to $300, guys. So let's go on and unbox it and see what it's all about. So get your popcorn ready and let's go. Alright guys, so I got the Motorola Pure Edition. Listen, this is a phone that uh, uh, was released in 2015 and I know it's 2016, late to the game, but you know what, when we talk about budget phones, uh, it's it, it, it brings out the point of should we buy the older flagships of 2015, uh, you know, for a cheaper price, or whether going into the Galaxy S7s and the LG G5s and paying $800 to $1,000 for phones? So let's go to unbox this sucker and see what it's all about. So, uh, pretty much a nice a big old box here, a uh, very large box. Um, on the back, you got your motor roller. Uh, and here it says uh, Motorola Pure Edition uh, Turbo Charger uh, and a bonus you get a protective bumper. Huh, cool. All right, so let's uh, take the plastic off. All right, here we go, guys. So we got the Motorola Pure Edition, guys. Uh, we got the smartphone here, got the black version. Pretty good. Got right set that to the side and we have in the box we got a few little things here in this box here let's take this out we got our books read me all right so we got our books and stuff put that to the side we have a sim eject tool here all right I got the pretty Motorola sign on it all right it's pretty neat and let's see what else we got in the box on this side here we have our bumper nice pretty cool and we got our turbo charger uh it's all in one so that's pretty cool so let's go on and put all this to the side and let's get to the main event here all right guys so let's go over the specs real quick of the uh, motorola uh pier we got a 5.7 inch uh, QHD uh, screen, which is the 1440 by 2560 pixels, uh, 21 megapixel camera on the back. Also, we got three gigs of RAM with the Snapdragon 808 processor, uh, 3000 milliamp battery, guys. Uh, so, and then the front, guys, we got a five megapixel camera, and we're running uh, Android, supposed to get an update to 6.0. Uh, and we have the Adreno 418. We got 16, 32, 64 gigs of storage uh, on this device. Also, we have a uh, micro SD card support up to uh, 256 gigs. So let's go to take the plastic off and see what this is all about. Oh, we got the little thing right here. I love doing the unboxings. All right. Man, it feels real good in the hand, guys, that first span. So uh, on the side here, you got your volume rocker. Look like your power button here. Up top, you got the SIM slot and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On this side, very clean. And on the bottom, guys, we have our power port. And on the back, uh, you do have your Motorola sign, have that little dimple right there, two-tone flash, and your um, 21 megapixel camera. In the front, guys, we have a flash. What our camera, we have a sensors over here. We got do space face speakers, guys. All right, guys, so we got our first boot. It's all booted up, and I can tell you, it feels real good in the hand. Uh, and yes, we are here. 
And yes, this is the Motorola Pier Edition, guys. It comes with a bumper. Uh, and let's see what we're running. Let's go on and check about phone. At first glance, phone is fast. All right, so we're running Android 5.1.1. And let's check for system updates uh, while we talk talking about this. At first glance, guys, I know this is a 2015 phone. And oh, here we go. We got a new software update guys and so uh, and it's a uh what, what i'm saying is that in the budget realm guys uh we're gonna test this device out along with other devices and we're talking about 250 to 300 dollars in the budget range guys and you know when i talk about the nexus 6p i mean you could debrand it make it look pretty also the nexus 6 i mean this all goes in the same round 5.7 inch screen 6 inch screen 5.7 inch screen guys i mean all these devices right now is running within the budget range here guys i mean right now it's all budget conscious i mean you can even get the hcc 1m8 for about 250 to 300 bucks guys so when you're talking about low-end devices guys uh, you're talking about something that's within the price range of the consumer but does it live up to the hype yes it does it'll processor in here guys i mean you have good processors in all these devices guys i mean you have an 808 processor here you have an 801 processor here you have a 616 processor here 810 processor uh, also you have a 805 processor in here listen all these devices run pretty well and this is what i like i'm going to start my budget phone series guys to bring you all the budget phones to let you know how these phones live up to uh, how they perform how they it, it, do they live up to the height you got to remember these are 2015 devices guys these are the ones that they say these was the best of the best of the best in 2015 so since we are in 2016 let's see what it's all about this is eric from easy computer solutions guys uh giving you an unboxing and first look of the motorola x pure edition guys this is Eric. See you on the next video. Peace.